Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. As you create the appropriate joins between the tables in your database using the Relationships window, you will need to set the properties of the table joins to ensure that they're set up as you would like. The main join property you'll need to set is the referential integrity of the join. Referential integrity refers to the built-in set of rules that Access uses to ensure that the relationship between the data within the joined fields of the table is valid. It ensures that every unique value in the related field in the child table, in this case the sales table, must have a corresponding value to which it is related in the parent table, or in this case the employee table. So for this particular join, what we're saying by enforcing referential integrity is that every sale must have a legitimate employee attached to the record. So we can check enforce referential integrity to ensure that that's true. So this makes sure that when you delete a record in the parent table that all the related records in the child table aren't orphaned or without a reference to a record in the parent table. We wouldn't want to input sales that use an employee ID that makes a reference to the employees table where there is no employee ID with that identification number. That prevents you from having meaningless data within your database table. But in order to set up referential integrity, the relationship between the fields within the joint table must fall within three rules. The first rule is that the related field in the parent table has to be a primary key. Second rule is that the related fields in both tables must have the same data type. That means number to number or auto number to number, text to text, date time to date time, and so on. Also, both tables must belong to the same database. And as long as you've got a join that falls in line with these rules, you can enforce referential integrity upon it by checking the checkbox for enforce referential integrity in the edit relationships window that appears when you create a table join. Below that, there are two options that can be set once you've selected to apply referential integrity. You can check to cascade update related fields and cascade delete related records. Checking the cascade update related records ensures that if a value is changed in the data of the parent table in the joined field, that change is cascaded to the related data in the fields in the child record, updating them as well. So for example, if you changed an employee's ID from employee number one to employee number 100, you would want the sales for that employee to also change from one to 100. Checking cascade delete related records ensures that if you delete a record in the parent table, all of related records in the child table will also be deleted as well. So once again, if you had deleted employee number one, would you also want it to delete all the sales for employee number one? Once again, that prevents data that has no reference in the parent table. Now once you've checked any or all the options that you wish, click OK to set the relationship. You'll notice relationships that have referential integrity enforced have a one-to-many or a one-to-one -one symbol. And that just makes sure that the data that's in this field has a corresponding match in this field. Now, you can edit the joins in the future to change any setting. So for example, in customers and sales, we have a join that was created by making a lookup on the customer ID in the sales table to the customers table. So in XP in 2003, you could right click on that join and choose edit relationship and then enforce referential integrity as needed and click OK. Also, when you're creating these joins between the different fields, Notice that there's a join type button that you can click in the edit relationships window. If you click it, you'll be presented with the three types of possible ways that the data between the tables could be related. Please do not change these settings as we normally want join type 1 in a relational database. Typically, changing join types is an activity performed by a query when using database tables that do not have referential integrity settings enforced. 
it would be highly unusual and not generally recommended to change the settings in this window, as this permanently alters the way that the data between the two fields would be related. Now when you are finished making all the joins and laying out the relationships window as you'd like, simply click save to save the changes to the relationships window and close it when you're finished. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.